When there was a problem at the Hebgen Dam and they needed a part, they didn't have to look far. They came to Anaconda, to this foundry that has been in operation since the late 1800s, and they got the job done. Ah, uh, yeah, yesterday was a long day. <laughs> The busy workers at AFCO Foundry got even busier earlier this week when a gate at the Hebgen Dam malfunctioned and Northwestern Energy called the Anaconda Mill with an emergency order to manufacture a new part. The order came in at the end of a work day on Tuesday. And our machine shop manager was still on site and so he got the project started and him and I, we worked essentially till about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning to set these guys up for Wednesday morning so that they could essentially bring the component to the finish line. It was a rush order because the broken part caused the Madison River water level to drop drastically, resulting in fish kills. The new part was installed at the dam by Wednesday evening and water levels have since been restored to the river. It's pretty gratifying to be able to, you know, set everything aside and get it done for them. Kind of cool to be able to stay on that same job, especially being that important. Location and skill were keys to the success of the project. You know, to be able to have the size of equipment and to be so closely located that we're able to jump on a project like that and get it done for them. And we're just happy that we had the ability to come through for them when they needed it. I'm in one of the oldest parts of this manufacturing facility. It was built back in the late 1800s. It's literally built into the hillside here. And it just goes to show that this old time manufacturing is still important today. The truth is this place has been in operation for over 100 years and when the smelter closed down, our owners, our, our previous owners were employee owned now, you know, they were able to pick up the torch and keep this place operating and, uh, you know, we're still running today. So thankful for that. AFCO, which has offices in Anaconda and Butte, have about 80 employees and they're looking to hire more. In Anaconda, John Amy, MTN News.